What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to install the mouse flow code on your website so that you can not only track your entire funnel, but you can also see the heat map and see the user click activity, scroll activity, etc. etc. Um, if you already have mouse flow, you know exactly kind of what are some of the features that it offers. So the first thing we need to do is to grab our code. Now I will be using click funnels. Uh, as my example website builder, uh, funnel builder, but you can use whatever WordPress, lead pages, uh, Insta page, and just kind of understand the basic idea. So, what we'll be doing is first thing you have to go to settings, grab your tracking code, and copy this full thing. So, I'm just going to click copy to uh, clipboard, and now I have to paste it somewhere. So, it says you need to copy the script to the end of the body section code, or you can put it in the header. Right, because this is a JavaScript code. So if you put it in the header, it will also work and it will kind of fire first. Um, so what I'm going to do <clears throat> is now go back to ClickFunnels. Now in ClickFunnels, there's two, th two, two ways I can do this. I can either go to the settings for the overall funnel and paste it there, or I can go into each single page, every single one of my pages in the funnel and paste the code there. Now, of course, the easier option is to go to settings and just paste that code right here. So that is exactly what I have already done. So I went ahead and I pasted it right there. And that is pretty much it. So now this code is on every single one of my final pages. And this is really just the simplest way to do it. I'm going to click Save. Um, and that's it. So the, the other thing you could do is if you don't have this option on your uh, funnel or website builder, you can just go into each individual page and add it in the header section. Don't put it in the footer, put it in, in either the header or the body section, uh, and it should fire, ideally as high up on the page as you can. So in this case, you know, if I have like Insta page or lead pages or whatever, and I don't have that option that ClickFunnels offers, well, putting it on every um, page of the funnel automatically by placing it in the central menu, I can just go into every page and just put it here in the header code. I'm gonna go in and paste it, that is it. And then you click save. So now that we've done that, we've done everything we need for the ClickFunnels part and adding the code in. Now we have to add kind of these sites on the mouse flow end. So mouse flow can identify that, hey, um, here are the pages that have this code in there so that it can track. Now over time, this, uh, these steps will automatically be added. However, if you want to take action today, you can add them yourself. So if you go to Funnel, and you go to add new funnel. So let's make a name. Let's say test funnel. Uh, so here is where you would add kind of these endings. Now, right now they're showing up for me because it has been over 24 hours. So it's already there. However, if whatever you're looking for isn't here, you can manually add it. So let's go back here and let's say, you know, let's say I, I add another funnel step. Let me just do that right now. Another funnel step and the path is uh, super good path. So I'll click create funnels, funnel step. So right now, this step here, it has the code, right? This one does because it's in the settings. So the, the, the code is here. However, even if I refresh, you will see that this path is not there. So what you have to do is just manually add it. So the way you do it is you can either copy this part here or you can go in and just copy this. So either one works. Um, the best thing to do is to actually click on the page and see where you land. So in this case, let's see. Depending on um, how you click it and what link you're providing the people, just make sure that the link you're providing that people land on actually matches that which you write here. So in this case, it's going to be another funnel step. So over here, we had this option and this option. So you would want to pick this one, another funnel step. So what you would do is you would go in and add slash another funnel step. And here you can write, um, this is just an alias. So, so this is kind of a description. So for example, this would be the, you know, the sales page or the opt-in page, just something for you to remember it by. And that's pretty much it. So after you add all these steps and you start seeing traffic, your funnel would look something like this. So you have this many visits to your landing page, this many visits to the thank you page, et cetera, et cetera, and it just keeps going. So all you have to do is add the code, the central code to your site, and Mouseflow will do the rest. Just add the path there, go to your site, you know, add, add this little path, and that's pretty much it, okay? So once you have your, your website installed, um, you're pretty much good to go. And then on heat maps, 
uh, you should be able to see all the data here as well. And I think it, it, it already pre-populated uh, this another funnel step here, right? Yeah, so, so it actually, it already picked up this other funnel step in the heat maps right away, uh, even though we added this manually, okay? Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now, one more thing, if you do want to split test, um, so say you have two variations of the landing page, what you would want to do is simply create new funnel and start off that new funnel with your uh, with your second variation. So just make sure you add the path, right? So the path is like this last part of your total URL. So in this case, the path for the first one is squeeze page. And for the second one, it's squeeze two. So just make sure they're different. Like you can't have a uh, squeeze page and then this one would be squeeze page one uh, because then if you write just squeeze page here, um, it could identify either one or the other, so it, it won't give you accurate data. So, for example, what I mean by that is here, for example, for this page, as long as squeeze page is somewhere there, this uh, click will trigger and will fire on the mouse flow end. So make sure you really differentiate your uh, split test variations if that's how you want to do it. So, for example, one could be squeeze page, the other something like uh, page two variation, something like that. Make sure they don't have the beginning core and just use that core, okay? Other than that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.